Demonstrations have been held in Israel against plans uh, by the new right-wing government to overhaul the judicial system. There were more than 100,000 protesters in Tel Aviv and thousands more who took to the streets uh, across the country. From Tel Aviv, Tom Bateman reports. They came in their tens of thousands and brought central Tel Aviv to a standstill, accusing Israel's coalition of a coup against democracy. I'm a student, a law student, and once I heard about the reform in the legal system, I was shocked. We, as a student protest, are against it and want to save our democracy. Protesters railed against Mr Netanyahu, back in power with the country's most religious nationalist coalition ever. Lawyers joined in, slamming plans for changes to weaken the power of the courts, with the Prime Minister himself on trial for corruption. Opposition leader Yair Lapid was there, calling for people to keep fighting until they win. This is a demonstration for the country. People who love the country have come here today to defend its democracy, to defend its courts, to defend the idea of coexistence for the common good. Mr Netanyahu dismisses these protests as inflammatory, saying they ignore the will of the voters. He says Israelis elected a full right-wing government and voted for security. Others here highlighted Israel's decades-old occupation of the Palestinian territories. They're deeply worried about a government that is committed to what it calls exclusive Jewish rights to all the land. Police are estimating numbers that were greater than last week uh, when they said there are at least 80,000 people protesting. That would make this certainly the biggest anti-government demonstration in Israel in recent years. This drumbeat of protest is putting Israel's old divisions back on show. But the liberals and the secular of Tel Aviv know theirs are the views that have long been moving to the margins in Israel. Tom Bateman, BBC News, Tel Aviv.